Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I still break his nose? No, I guess, sure. All right, cool. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the that's, Brooks that's, and Zach. That's mine. That's Should mine. we all welcome, say welcome? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Doesn't Brooks and Zach 100 Years I mean, Podcast. You might as well say it now. Shoot, all right. You say welcome, I say welcome, and then you say welcome. Okay. Okay. Welcome. 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 There we to go. To the Brooks and Zach 100 whale Years come. Podcast. Ah. Whale. Uh... We have a very special guest here today. A very special, very special boy. <laughs> Mr. Yaskovich swung by our uh, detective yeah. agency also apartment, known whatever known it's Frank called. Frank Rosenberg, also known as Helen the K- K- Karen, K- Karen, K- Karen, or uh, we'll, we'll get to that if, in an episode eventually. I, I, I'd like to state this: I'm back despite no demand or acknowledgement. <laughs> honestly, I really just, none. I you and Leo are only two fans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also, um, oh shit, what was I gonna say? I can't remember. Fuck it. It was, just, I'm so here. it was a crazy No Brooks Day. It was a crazy No Brooks Day. We yeah. had a No Brooks Day. We met up uh, during No Brooks Day, and then we decided to bring him here so he could crash because his apartment still has that bear in it. Wait. Oh, what, yeah. What day? What? 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 Oh, I I mean, I, it's a tradition. <laughs> It's, it's once every week. Yeah, you know. It's a, look, no we day. we love you. You know, yeah. it's just you we know. We find your schedule at work, and we oh. were like, oh, when's he at work? Now? All right, now it's No Brooks Day. Oh, you know, get, okay. Don't meet up. Get our hair did. It's a yeah. lovely day. It's you pamper yourself. You yeah, treat yourself. it's a day for I ourselves like without you. Well, <sighs> yeah, we know you do, and we can have a Brooks Day. You know, just, you know. You can have a Brooks Day. You can have a Brooks Day. You can have your Brooks Day when we have our no Brooks Day. Exactly. That, that would work. But that's my work day. Yeah. There that's, you go. That's all for you. That's Brooks Dies on the Inside Day. Oh, man. Oh, also, hang on. I have this I have this thing. I was going to tell you guys off the podcast, but I might as well tell you now. So, by the end of work... Uh, Shake the table. Yeah, yeah. By the end of work yesterday, uh, everyone was wrapping up, and we were all like, grabbing our like stuff and uh, up front, and everyone was like... Just sort of there towards the end of it. And we usually carry walkies, like walkie talkies, to communicate oh, with good. each other. When you said walkie, I had no idea what you meant. Oh, and I'm glad you specified. Mine that. died. So like while everyone was like around the front talking, I went into the into like the equipment stuff to get a new battery. And when I came out, my boss, like my boss boss who was there, was like, Hey Brooks, do you want to work tomorrow? And what you normally say to uh your boss when like he or she asks to, uh, to have you work the next day when you really don't want to is uh oh i'm sorry i got all this stuff going on i really can't like my schedule is already set and like i would but i i can't and of course everything. You yeah me. which is actually true in this case because we do have a busy day yeah. but at the time yeah. she caught because i was coming out expecting no conversation and my boss confronted me with conversation i was caught unawares and said my true feelings so when my boss asked Brooks, do you want to work tomorrow? My response was no. <laughs> In front of everybody, I said no. Yeah, rock and roll. If no. if if I didn't realize what was happening, because I tried to save it and add the whole, you know, I'm got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. I'll be able to fix those levels. Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. I was able to add that, but if I had not caught myself, I would have definitely added because I don't want to. <laughs> Because I don't want to be here. No, I like it. I like this new Ballsy Brooks. It's uh, beautiful. Ballsy Brooks. Ballsy. Brooks Ballsy. <laughs> that's what you can do on uh, Brooks Day. Just be ballsy. Uh, yeah. Ballsy Brooks Apparently Day. that's a thing now. No, ballsy yeah. Brooks Day. Wait, did we ever tell the story on the podcast when we kidnapped you from work? Oh, oh no, we yeah. have not. Let's just keep the work oh, stories rolling. Me. I have another story. Tell the one I was telling you in the car. Yeah, the one with the bear. You want to do that first? Oh, the bear one or the one I was telling you in the car? Uh... Well, since we're still on work, let's okay, talk about you, yeah, let's do talk your about thing. work. Okay, so uh, it was me, uh, Josh, and Mattis. Mm-hmm. We were all chilling in the car because it was again No Brooks Day. Yes, and uh, it came to an end of No Brooks Day, mm-hmm. and I believe it was like around ten o'clock. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Brooks was getting off work, so <laughs> we're all in Matt's Jeep. Uh, Matt's the driver. Josh is in the passenger mm-hmm. seat, and I'm in the back, and I'm like, we should we should kidnap Brooks. Yes. Well, uh, like the thing was like. You guys were thinking about swinging by. D- remember, you texted me. And I'm like, uh, oh wait, I, I'll bleep out where I said where I work. Yeah. So <laughs> you guys were talking about swinging by my work while I was closing. I'm like, well, it's only like got like five minutes left. We won't be able to do anything. And then, <laughs> independently of each other, you guys yeah. were talking about kidnapping me. And then I just sent a text like, how about you just kidnap me that's, while I'm on my way out? <laughs> that's why I love you, Brooks. <laughs> that's great. 
You got, yeah, and so we worked out this plan. Yeah, and so in the five minutes, we decided that Matt was the driver. Yeah. Uh, I was the muscle who would bring you into the car. Yeah. And then I was, just, and then I was the fat guy. I was the fat guy. <laughs> Josh was the guy who was yelling and shouting. Well, with a cigar, by the way. Yeah. Because I remember we were sitting in the car, like, oh, fuck, I need a cigar or something to yeah. get me in the mood. And Matt's just like, oh, I got one. Yeah, he just has them in his car. <laughs> I got some right here. And you're like, what? Are these jazz? Are these jazz cigars? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't smoke them. You're like, what? I can smoke this? And yeah. You just, start, you just smoke it in his car. Like, yeah. Oh. But what was great was that, like, or not great, but it was perfect. The, his lighter wasn't working, so I used the car lighter. Yeah. So it was like this really getaway of doing it. <laughs> oh, God. And so... Okay, so we worked out a plan. Yeah. Like, and five minutes, you said you'd be out in five minutes. It's like, all right, guys, we got to get ready. Uh, Matt's going to drive. We're going to get up there. I'm going to grab Brooks and throw him in the car, all while Josh is <laughs> shouting. Uh, what were you well, shouting? I said, hey, Vernon. You're gonna borrow money from Tony Soprano. We gotta fucking pay it back. And I got like the cigar in my mouth and everything. It's just like, <laughs> oh, it's like I like we have this thing before we're let out at night. We're all standing around. Uh, we've all punched out and everything. And I was just like, yeah, I don't know. I got some like weird texts about some stuff. Uh, like I hope nothing goes down. And like everyone was ignoring me and everything as per usual. And my view was. I looked out, I told them I was going to be the first one out, so I was standing by the door, and I looked out the window in the door, I saw two parked cars, I thought at least one, they were both white, I thought at least one of them might have been Zach's car, I'm like, okay, they must be waiting out front, like, to grab me, so, when we were let out, I walked out, and I noticed both the cars, like, are empty, I'm like, oh, that's weird, and I just hear a screech, and a car comes tearing down the street. He went to zero to six. Yeah, yeah, it, was yeah it comes tearing down the street, stops in front of everyone, and I go, hey guys, what's up? And, and then you do your bit. Yeah, that's when I came out. And then you come out smoking your yeah, cigar, yeah. and like, you're the fucking mess! Yeah. But, but I noticed it was lit, and when he would, he, you guys oh, yeah. grabbed me, dragged yeah, me I, in, and started punching yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. threw you in the car, punch, and then he le- leans over the passenger seat, still with cigar yeah, and mouth, Ash coming the out. ember is falling. I'm like, ah, wait, no, no, he jokes ever, jokes over the embers, it's getting up here. No, yeah. I, I think he, I don't think it was in his mouth, I think he had it yeah, it was just there. Because it was in his hand that he was punching me with, because I remember <laughs> being really worried that, wait, is that lit? Is he going to burn me? How is How committed is he to this what, bit? What ruined the bit for me was when we like we pulled out, we took you out, out of the car, and I was like, oh, where are my glasses? I had realized <laughs> they had fallen out, and Matt had driven over them, and they were completely bent in the... Bit snap. Is that off. why the lens always falls out? No, these are different glasses. The those were like my Ray Ban ones. Oh, okay. But like the you know <laughs> that ruined the bit was yeah. that your loss of. The but glasses. hey, you know I, it worked. I guess it was pretty hilarious. It was funny because like some of these people I don't know as well as others, so I couldn't gauge what their reaction to it would be. Yeah. So I told my friend Logan, who you know, you who I know, who yeah. we work with, I told him about the plan. Because he knows us. And he's like, this is hilarious. And he was really looking forward to seeing it. But then right as we were about to leave, my boss was like, oh, hey, we forgot to do this one thing. Logan, can you go take care of that? So he left. And then, like, we went out. And I'm like, oh, he missed it. But then, like, we talked to him afterwards. He's oh, a yeah. chill guy. Yeah, love playing guitar with him. Yeah, he was the insurance that if people freaked out, that he'd tell them yeah, not to call yeah, the police. Yeah. I think but the funniest thing about all of that happening was that all your coworkers were just like, oh. none of them cared. <laughs> like, none okay. of them cared. Yeah, well, they're going Brooks. Well, well, we can oh, hire God. another employee. They're a dime a dozen. Uh, yeah, I, do work at a, I do work at a place where the employees are very disposable. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think every place a person works that is retail is I, yeah. I, the, I find Speaking of work, I finally talked to the girl that is now working with me at where I work as yeah. a faux taxidermist. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I have all, all I've said was to her, I feel kind of rude that I never introduced myself. I'm Josh and she's Megan. And that's it. Like, I, the other day when I was at work, I didn't even talk to her then. And, like, what sucked was my my phone had died in the middle of the day. Right. So, like, right in the middle of the podcast, right? And I was like, fuck, I, I, I'm like, what do I do? Because my, my problem is, like, it's not that I can't talk to people. It's that before in situations where I would talk to people, they'd be either, like, at school or at some sort of public event or a party. And I'm like, ah, whatever, fucking people don't give a shit, whatever. But this is at work. And I can't gauge whether or not my boss will deduct my pay because it's not anything written. It's all under the table. (laughs) So she could easily Uh, do that. I don't know if we've mentioned this last time you were on here, but Josh, his work is he is a 
under the table taxidermist <laughs> where he does taxidermy completely off the books. Yeah. yeah. Good taxidermy. It's a good I, taxidermy. I know, we got the squirrels. Who can cut, cut up a squirrel so good, so nice. You need a scroll know. guy, I do your squirrel. Do you want to tell like what you had to do with a horse recently? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I hate doing this. <laughs> I mean, not so what I had to do. done it more than once. No, no, no. It was two separate. All right, so we have to put fur, and it's fake fur, like on a foam body, right? Right. And uh, so we we have to fur it, and I'm so fucking bad at it. I don't know why she has me do it. Like I'm, and I don't like doing it. But like we have to put the fur on there, and since it's a solid form, I have to piece it together and like cut it and mash it like a puzzle. But uh, one of the horses had to be a girl. Okay. So I had to give it a Caitlyn Jenner job, and I had to cut. <laughs> and what was weird, what, which is weird for all them, is that usually there's just a bump. This was a detailed horse cock. <laughs> or, all right, I shouldn't say cock. It, it was a detailed horse chode <laughs> that I. It was in there. It was a turtleneck on there, and Instead I had to of cut length, it. Instead of length, it had a lot of width. It had, yes, it had a lot of width, and it was weird because it was a chode. It looked very horse chode esque. It was like an egg. Yeah, it, it was egg. just like three bumps rather than like a two bumps and a stem, you know. So I had to cut it off, and a, and a part of me was really thinking about like I just want to hold on to this and like draw on it and just throw it at either you or Brooks, <laughs> just so that we have it. Cause you would not be the first people or friends of mine that I'd given something penis related Why to. Are you taking a Snapchat. Uh, uh, I've just you know. Uh, uh, it's 2016, it's 2016 hashtag. hashtag. Hashtag no Brooks Day. You, should, you yeah. guys should make a Brooks and Zach uh, Snapchat. For Leo. Oh, for Leo. <laughs> yeah, for but, Leo, yeah. But I just thought it was a beautiful moment of oh, us, you know, well, doing our work. But you. anyways, <laughs> fuck you. No questions. I <laughs> speaking of dick stuff, just real quick, so you can tell whatever stories we have. You know, whenever you say dick stuff, and real quick, it makes me think of yeah. the past experiences oh, I've had. Anyway, sorry. continue. So <laughs> when I was very young, I would say like nine years old. I f- was in the living room digging out th- this through this old box, and there was like a little uh, jack in a box thing, right. and it had a, a rooster on it, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Cock in a box, huh? This is weird. How how particular? How how queer is this moment? Not in saying it was gay, but you know, old English. Old so English queer. I I I do the little thing. I go da 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 da, but it doesn't open. Oh. I go, huh, it didn't open. So I get a screwdriver, I pry open, and then, boom, a huge cock, huge dick, like plaster thing or like rubber, springs into my face, almost hitting me in the eye. I, I'm not making any of this up. I swear on my mother and my, and my life, this all happened at a very young age. And I'm like, first off, I like knew what that was. Like I started laughing. And so I go to my mom and I'm like, where the fuck did this come from? Whose is this? And apparently it is my aunt's who is this very sweet old woman. I wouldn't say old. She's not that old. But she's very sweet and kind. And it was given to her for her bachelor party. Wait, wait. Where a male stripper came. Is it the aunt that I know? No, no, no. A different okay. aunt. A much nicer, sweeter aunt. Oh, okay. And, like, it just totally changed my... Because she's, like, a... She's a little... She's kind of Jewish, this old, nice, sweet... It's always the nice, old, sweet people. Yeah. The and it was is. hers. And it's so, not It's not just that she received the gift. It's that she kept the gift. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I gave... So then I was just gave it to my other friends to have. And now I don't know where it is, because I wish I still had it and we could use it for... He's like, hey, you want a cock in a box? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it was. Like, that's, how the convers- that's how the conversation and starts. And I threw it to my friend Kate, and now hopefully she has it. But uh, that's my life in a in a cock in a box. In a cock in a box. Oh, Our God. podcast is a million times better whenever you're here. I'm sorry. Do you want to become a regular? I wouldn't mind it. I've got nothing else to do. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I was honestly thinking this, whenever either one of you guys are in here and you still want to upload an episode, I'm, I'm swing by and use my voice. <laughs> I'm looking up a cock in a box, <laughs> oh, and yeah. all it's showing is are there any you pictures? Do just some dick in a box. No. Oh. Yeah, there was uh, a legitimate uh, black man's penis in a wooden box. And well, uh, Brooks and oh, Zach, geez. 100 years listeners, if you'd like to tune in, uh, look up cock in a box on Google and enjoy yourself. You know, play along. You know, you can experience the same things First we one experience. First to find a vintage uh, cock in a box. I, I email would, it to us. I would love to find it. Like, email thing, us man. that you found it, and then just physically mail it to us. Yeah. <laughs> 
We'll, we'll PO keep in context. Box Crimopolis. Yeah. yeah. Crimopolis where There's we live. No throw it, if you throw it in a flaming garbage can, it, we will get it eventually. Yes. That's how, that's how mail works Fun here. The thing about P.O. Boxes and Crimopolis is there's no real, like, set location for them since somebody always steals it and it's oh, on a yeah. different street corner yeah. Yeah, every yeah. hour. Yeah. So we don't bother with numbers. We just, you know, yeah. if it's on our corner, we'll just see what's in there. Yeah. If you, if, hey. Honestly, if you just throw it down the sewers, we will probably get it. Uh, you mean the, we? You're going down the sewers. We're not going back yeah, down there. Oh, that's right. We've already dealt with the rat king. I have king. a story about that. Oh, do I? Oh, Episode I do. Episode 24, callbacks, continuing continuity. Yeah. That's what stories need. So the reason why I'm here is because uh, my, my my good, my totally good friend, uh, Dan, Dan the Bear, funny guy, really cool, didn't funny guy. Kill you? Yeah, didn't he, Molly? That's just his thing. We got a funny it's phone call. It's just his thing. Like, it's come his on. Thing it's that his he thing. You? Ignore this. Ignore this cut on my thought. It's a funny. He's a really. <laughs> that is a he's a good deep guy. Deep. He's a really good guy. Really what did he? Um, he's what, still there. Was he? Was he angry that no bears were nominated no, for any Oscars? I so mean, he's boycotting them. Look, all right. I, I just think that's reverse bear racism, and for you to bring that up is r- racist. <laughs> reverse? How is there reverse racism? Look, he's a good racism. guy. He's just currently staying in my house, and I thought I'd, you know, spend the day with you guys and give him some room, or spend the days or weeks or months, uh, whatever. <laughs> you, can cra- you can crash here. There's a uh, big old uh, bandage across your neck, too. I oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just ignore it. It's just ignore it. It's fine. It's all right, fine. all right, we'll move away. I love him. I love him. <laughs> You said you also had a story? Yeah, well, this this was what I started telling you in the car, and I didn't know if, like... I should probably tell it on here, because yeah. I, I don't think you know this. I don't know it. Um, <laughs> you don't know if you know it. Because I'm... Be so the, the people who are in it, uh, I'm seeing later today, and whenever I go visit them, I always see this, because... All right, so... Right. This is a story about me and my cousins. I won't give any names. Uh, so... <laughs> When we were young, we would do so much stupid bullshit. Because, you know, you're a young tween teenager. That's what you do. Yeah, it's not uh, yeah. Here are some of the things we did. Accidentally, unintentionally harass homeless people. Can you tell me that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, broke into a power plant. With that also accidentally, unintentionally? Yeah, I thought I saw death once during that, but that's a different <laughs> <Death>. story. <laughs> um, uh, and then the one that this uh, that kind of, like, stopped all this. This was kind of, like, the end. Um... We would uh, sneak out at night and just, you know, wander around the town. And uh, this one time, there was this old building in front of a shopping center. And, like, my older cousin, who was like, oh, it's t- totally haunted. Go get your camera. We'll take pictures inside the place and whatever. We're like, all right, cool. So um, we go there. We see nothing, of course. And so he, he turns to me and says, you know, there's a golf course. Like, this is at 1 a.m., by the way. Yeah. Like, he's like, there's a golf course, you know, across the street. We should break into it. And I'm like... Yeah, <laughs> and so I've got my camera, and at the time I, I'd like to state this just for later. I was doing stop motion stuff like with Legos and stuff. Goes, right. but by the way, if anyone doesn't know, I do that phase too. Yeah. yeah, I also did that. I, Shut up, Brooks. I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to get back into it. All right, just, just for anyone who doesn't know, I kind of do film stuff and video production. We'll to, plug you later. Uh, yeah. Hashtag Doctor Goomba. <laughs> But anyways, Hashtag the gooms. So, so, and he remembers this part differently, but I swear to God. So, there were these people drag racing, as they do in this certain p- part of town, uh, down the street, very fast. Uh, we crossed So, they were the running street. down in dresses keep and high heels. Yes. Keep your feet on your half of the table, Brooks. Yeah, it is on my half of the table. That was, that was past the halfway You were in socks? Ugh, gross. Yeah, gross. Anyways. It's my house. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for this apartment by saying I would eventually pay for this apartment. <laughs> So we we cross the streets to not get hit, and um, on the other side, in in by the way, this is all dark. There's a ditch, a big ditch, filled of rocks. You know where they collect rainwater and all that. Right. Yeah. Uh, I immediately eat shit and do it. <laughs> I completely fuck up my knee, and I'm like, oh shit. So I'm crawling out, and I see my cousin. He's looking around, and there's this cop car with red and blue lights flashing, speeding, coming down. And then it goes down to the end of the street, and it's coming back. And our thought is like, oh, they want to talk to us about the cars drag racing. Oh, you know, oh, shit, we'll just tell the cops, you know, what we saw and, you know, keep it, you know, uh, you know, unrelated to us of what, of what we're doing because we're also doing illegal things. Uh, so it stops. Then this guy, I swear to God, looked like 16 years old, no older than I was. I, I was like 13. The yeah, the cop. And he, gun drawn, is like, get on the ground! Get on the fuck! And we're like, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. so we get on the ground. I eight cars come, twenty different cops. Because of course, there's like nothing else going on. And like, 
like drug dogs come. I swear there was a helicopter. I, I don't remember. <laughs> but like I like he they handcuff us. This is all so traumatic. And um I'm looking at my cousin. He's like on the other side. Well, he's on the same side of the street, but like distance. And they're interrogating us differently. And he's pretending to have a panic attack so they would feel bad for him. So they're like, "Oh shit! Do we, I think we need to call an ambulance." And he knows, like, if they call the ambulance, they'll know he's faking. He's like, "Oh no, no, I'm fine. I just, I uh, just, uh, 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 like all that shit." And I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, "Oh, we're so fucked." And so. He, the one cop who's talking to me, he's holding my camera. He's like, well, I'm just going to take a look at this. And me not knowing the laws, like, I could have told him, that's illegal. And you can't look at that without my permission. But I'm like, okay. So he that does. Right there. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and I'm so. You got your permission. Thank God he did not know how to operate it. Because on there, I had took, taken video of him, my older cousin, saying, hey, let's go break into the golf course. And me going, okay. <laughs> so if he had listened to <laughs> If he had listened to it, we would have been fucked. But what's great is like he's looking at it and he's like, he's like, oh, you got pictures of Legos on here, and I'm like, oh yeah, if you just hold down like the arrow button, it'll it'll move fast, it's stop motion. And he's like, okay. And so he does it, and there's this stop motion I did of a cop Lego walking up to another random Lego guy. <laughs> And shooting him. And the cop just goes, this is great. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. And like, I'm like thinking like I just offended him. But now looking at current things that are going now, that are happening now, of course that makes sense. Uh, but How old were you when, you, when this happened? 13. Like this would have been like 2008, 2009, okay. yeah. I think. And so, like... Well, just keep your fucking feet on your side. My feet are it's, on my it's, side. I think it's mine. Fine. I think no, no, it's no, mine. I'm not. It's not. I was looking at my Fine, I'll keep like them, I'll keep them by my chair. Oh, look God. at my foot. Is that, is that on my side? You don't side? like it when no. mom and dad fight. <laughs> Get that but, shit uh, out of here. But anyways, to... <laughs> To close this, he, he got, like, and I totally regret this. The cop was just like, oh, would you like to take a picture with all of us to remember this night? And I was like, no, I don't think I want my parents to know about this. And it was stupid because I told them about it anyways because they didn't give a shit. Like, I didn't have an arrest record. It was just them subduing us. But, like, oh, my God. So why did they subdue you? Be, so this is what they had said, and it was our fault as well. They were like, oh, yeah, some people have been walking around here late at night. And we had been, but what had happened differently in the same area people had broken into like the stores like a starbucks was there and roots and uh we were there for that and so we because we were walking around down in that area and we had seen like these people in a car and then we just heard alarms go off and we're like fuck we gotta get out of here and so i was like what shit do i tell them this and i was like no just don't acknowledge any of this be like you know we don't know anything so with all that said uh we go they drive us home our my uncle's awake and what I and what I love about this was I was like, are you are you mad at us? And he was like, no, I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad at Tom because he's a fucking retard. <laughs> and I'm like, cool, I'm not in trouble at all. Great day. And then that was the end of us uh, going out at night. Nice, yeah. good story. Yeah. I like that a lot. Fun story. Yeah. Uh. So <laughs> ended up with me being a pussy at the end. Uh, but you know, that's everybody talks big. Like, yeah. Cop tries to pull me over, I'm gonna say fuck you. And dude, the cop pulls yeah, my house. I, dude, I would have yeah. been dead if I tried to do anything smart like that. I would Man, not you're be white, dead. you gotta pass. Well, <laughs> they were all white as well too. Oh, okay, so it's like murder, regular murder. <laughs> regular murder. It's not racism, it's just murder. Um, but yeah, so that's my life and a cock in a box. And a cock in a box. And a cock in a box. Now that we've introduced you, Deadpool. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the reason for the episode. Uh, I mean, should you? Do you have any other stories? No, not, okay. none that I can think of. Uh, not yet, at least. None, yeah. none so, Brooks and Zach appropriate. Why not? <laughs> because of... Like what? What, 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 what uh, inappropriate stories you got Like here? the time I proposed to you. <gasps> oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I no, but I'm keeping the right. Oh, I, keep, I can pause this. I, I was money. scrimping. In, yeah, I'm sure yeah, you were. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, can I have that box? Can what? I have the box? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the box. All right, cool. Sweet. My, so, okay, anyway. So, no, business, is, <laughs> business has been pretty slow here at the Brooks and Zach Detective Agency podcast. <laughs> After the uh, first at, and only. We had one case so far, and it's been uh, like uh, a week. Uh, yeah. So, we decided in our downtime to just go see Deadpool, because that was yeah. coming out. Yeah. When you say see Deadpool, you mean like sneak into the movie theater because we don't have much money. Yeah, we we didn't pay for it. Obviously. I mean, I mean, I got my tickets because I, I know Ryan Reynolds and I mean he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. But, yeah, uh, he took the Deadpool suit at, during the last day of filming. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, screw this. Eleven 
years in production, I'm keeping this. Yeah. And they're like, uh, okay. I he I has gone on record to sweet. saying that he wants to play Deadpool for the rest of his life. That's fine. And I feel I, like he has a good chance dude, of that happening. I, all right, I think he's a fine actor. But like, like I said beforehand, like I think Ryan Reynolds can only play Deadpool. Because yeah. like, I, I've seen him in other things, and I'm just like... Yeah. Like, but when I see him as Deadpool, I'm like, oh, he's great. Like he's comp in other movies when he's acting, like he's competent and yeah. everything. But in Deadpool, he's great. He's yeah. like actually great because I feel like that character is suited for him, literally. That's yes. like how Robert Downey Jr. is suited for exactly. Iron Man, yeah, and yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch is Sherlock. Yeah, and a lot of other people. But I will only see him as Sherlock. Yeah, and right. Liam Neeson is Liam they, Neeson. They just yeah. have like uh, iconic roles yeah. and everything. You but know, um, Schindler's List. <laughs> So he will always be the nuts. He's <laughs> but um no yeah uh, all right so okay. overall, you loved it. So let's just real quick go around and just say like honest thoughts before we go into like a, like a deeper discussion. Okay. So I really liked the movie. Didn't love it, but like really I thought it was pretty great and everything. And I really had a had a great time and really yeah. enjoyed it. I I pretty much the same. I really enjoyed it as well. I just wish it had been the pure anti Marvel movie I wanted, but overall I still enjoyed it. I still laughed. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was pretty great. I was like, uh, is it gonna have too much fourth wall breaking? Because if they do that, it's not gonna be funny. And they can also do a thing where they don't fourth wall break, and that takes away the entirety yeah. of the Deadpool character. But they did it like I don't know what, like eight times throughout the entire movie, and I was like, "This is perfect." Every no, time yeah, do it, it, had a, it had a good balance. The, yeah. the comedy was snappy and witty, and yeah, it was uh, probably one of the one of the best comedies of uh, the fa- past few years. Although yeah. I'll say this, because there was a joke said that I laughed at, but no one else laughed at. What was it? It was the Heaven's Gate reference. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's the Michael Cimino movie. No, 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 no. The, when no, he no. W- when he was talking about oh so that's why that's why I didn't laugh because I was associating it with the movie no 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 and like I'm like that joke doesn't make sense no so when he was talking about oh what the fuck is Patrick Stewart's character the, the bald guy in the wheelchair I'm uh, Patrick Stewart but by the way yeah Patrick Stewart but what's his character uh, uh, Doctor X uh, Professor Doctor Zoom Say, yeah uh, I I'm not the world's biggest Marvel fan I'd like to state that but uh, so what he's referencing is he's comparing them to this cult. Uh, that was in the 90s uh and i know this only because like so their whole thing was like they believed that they were aliens and that they were <laughs> and that the, the way that they were gonna go home was killing themselves by oh, the kool-aid uh, no, no 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 that's jim jones uh, i i know a lot about cults <laughs> uh, i'm a very lonely man so we should start a cult yeah um we so can start a cult. we totally could yeah uh, we you could start a religion. Um, That's so a different episode. Yeah. So the this cult, they their whole thing was like, oh, we're aliens and we're just beings traveling through time, and existence, and we're gonna kill ourselves. And there's videotapes of them doing it. There, there's videotapes of them talking. Their leader, I forget the guy's name. And it's so weird because there's these like stereotypical drawings that you find of aliens on the internet that they're like, this is our proof, and it's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's it's all bullshit, like any cult is. Right. But like, what what was funny is because they all kill themselves by drinking. Vodka That's hilarious. With, no, 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 it's not hilarious. There's a documentary, but the joke that he made in it is funny. I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil it, but I was like, oh, because X-Men, they do operate just like a cult, and it's weird because they operate very similar to the Heaven's Gate because it's an old white guy with, that's bald, and so is he. Yeah. So I thought it was great. But... With mind powers. Yeah, with my, who, yeah, exactly. They thought they had powers as well, so. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I just love the nods. Like, oh, weird how yeah. you guys are the only X Men. It's like studio couldn't afford. Yeah, it. I I love that. I wanted to see more jabs at Marvel because yeah. I see, think a lot of their movies are bullshit. <laughs> we can get into yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, okay. Um. So we're just gonna go full spoilers. So if you don't want to hear the spoilers, this is the yeah. point to stop. Uh, I would recommend that you go see Deadpool. I would it's as well. Like one of probably one of the best. Like comedies come out of the past few years because oh, yeah. like a lot of, in my opinion, a lot of comedies nowadays are pretty garbage. I love yeah. More Grand Budapest Hotel. Well, Grand Budapest yeah. Hotel is also well, a phenomenal. fantastic yeah, movie, and, and, and I want to bring that up as well. In a, but uh, Super just comedy. as just as far as comedies are shot, like, like yeah, just like yeah, just the run of the mill comedy that comes out yeah. in theaters, the, and like one of the better ones. There, to come out. There's a guy, and we've talked about him before. Uh, he's called Every Frame a Painting. Yes, yes. He does one on Edgar Wright, and he talks about how talks, comedies should be shot like. Like, you know, so as, a, a real people movie. Yeah. Well, Scott Pilgrim was yeah, my favorite. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that, but I've heard you a lot of things. Watch it's, Scott it's pretty good, yeah. Scott Pilgrim? Is it on Netflix? I, Is it on Hulu? I, I, I don't Pilgrim? know. <laughs> but anyways, like, and I've always agreed with this, because, like, the way comedies are shot, and even with, like, other things, like, it's just, like, stereotypical, bland, 
uh, properly lit. I mean, not to say, like, things shouldn't be properly lit, but, like, it's always the same lighting. It's just, like, what he it's says, very, it's, like... It's always very flat. Yeah, it's very flat. It's just, like, improv that's filmed, you know? Yeah. So, I, but, like, what I like, I like about Edgar Wright and Grand Budapest is that they all have their own style. And that's what I like yeah. about Daredevil as well. But with Deadpool, it still had that feel of a Marvel film. It mm. just shot very bland. So, I, I can sort of see that. Yeah. Um, for me and comedies, I, I'm, I'm in the camp where it should be a good movie first and a like a funny movie second, yeah. like because that'll Otherwise, just. But make like that's it, all still subjective. Otherwise, yeah, it's still it's still subjective because I think com- comedy comedy is always going to be subjective. So if you just like if you have a great movie as the foundation, like people may not laugh as much as like other people, but that doesn't like yeah. determine like how good the yeah. movie is going to be is I, how much they laugh. Like movies like Ghostbusters, Blues Brothers, yeah. uh, My Python, and The Holy Grail, Blues and Blues. Edgar Wright's Cornell trilogy. They're all they're all great movies first and great comedy second. I feel like that's yeah. the way to go. I, I just think comedy should be their own beast. Each film should be its own thing rather than all right. This is how we do it. This a lot of them do blend together. That's what I always say comedy trumps. Yeah, and and that's how I feel about a lot of yeah. <laughs> oh God. Brooks if comedy demands it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Save okay. It for all right. Trump. Now I know where we stand. Um. But no, I. I feel the same way with a lot of marvel movies and i think that's because there's there's definitely more marvel movies than there are dc movies because the one we all think of like is nolan's uh batman trilogy and now man of steel as far as like anything else there really isn't anything i'm i'm still excited i'm still really excited for batman no yeah i really hope that's that that i really really hope that's a great movie because like i really like man Man of steel but it was really divisive Uh, yeah i'm just looking i'm looking forward to just see jared leto I, I will give the trailer, the new trailer for Suicide Squad. The oh, it's way funny. It shot, like how, like uh, everything was synced it, up. With the way it used Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, this is great. I'm, I'm excited now. Yeah. Too bad I don't want to see just, this movie. It just, it just had like two, like the trailer. It, it was great, but it had too many like little clues and dumb things yeah. in it for too me to get. Cooks. Too yeah. many cooks. Too many cooks. But I also thought the most recent Batman v Superman trailer yeah. was also yeah. very good, and probably the trailer they should have led with. I I listened to. Uh, the Nerdist, and they had Michael Shane on there. I mean, the way The Nerdist is set up for anyone who listens, like, it's not in-depth conversation, conversations about what they're working on. It's just, you know, a regular conversation. Yeah. But Michael Shannon started talking about, a little bit about Zod, and, because when I first saw Man of Steel, I didn't really like it, and I was like, well, there's something missing with this film. Like, I Yeah, feel, I was sort of the same but, way. But the more I think about it, I think about more of the things I like about it, so I want to rewatch it. But what Michael Shannon said was like, like, everyone complains, like, why did Superman kill Zod? That's not what he does. Zod says in his, like, one of us is going to die today because if if Zod lives, everyone on Earth dies. But if, you know, Zod dies, then Zod is the like, only one who dies and, you know, all the people who've killed during their fight. I, ha- I have my problems with Man of Steel, but upon... Because I remember I watched it once in the theaters and I really didn't like it and I looked online at all the criticism. I'm like, I agree with all this. It's not a very good movie. Then, like, two years later... I just like I I haven't seen Man of Steel in forever. It's still as bad as I remember. I rewatched it. I'm like, this is I actually really really like this. Yeah. I have my problems with it. I don't like how hundreds of thousands of people just die. Yeah. And, uh, apparently five thousand people, according to yeah. Zack Snyder. I'm like, that is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that movie. Hundreds die. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands die. Yeah. But, but like, like it, I still think it's a really interesting and good movie yeah. and more interesting than a lot of the Phase Two Marvel stuff mm. because I will. Ant Man. I did not like Ant Man. You didn't like Ant Man. No. I liked Ant Man well enough. Then you won't. You won't like Scott Pilgrim. No. Probably. No. No. You, you no, will. No. No. You I, will. From what I've seen of what Scott Pilgrim is, it looks more like itself rather than Ant Man. Ant Man was just very. Ant Man is okay. much. Ant Man had very. Just watching yeah. it, knowing the Cornell trilogy I, and Scott Pilgrim, I, yeah, he, I like watched the spots it. Ant Man, where the uh, Mexican friend was talking, was like, "All right, so here's what's up." Yeah, I like that. I okay, mean, that's, that's basically Scott all the. That's parts how of I Ant-Man wanted it like, to be shot. Like Bas- that's how I wanted it to look. Basically, like, that's Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Basically, I like it right. I like Shaun of the Dead. I like okay, all. Yeah. I love all of his yeah. films. All that I've seen. all of the parts of Ant Man that you actually liked were the holdovers from Edgar Wright's ideas yeah, before he yeah, left. Yeah. Okay. I love. I love. Edgar See, my thing with the Marvel movies is, I think. Phase one, like, it, I'm just gonna go on a thing. Phase one was really effective and really cool because they got a lot of like directors with very distinct like styles and everything in the early Marvel movies. And then phase two, they played it a lot safer and everything. They're like, okay, now we have a Marvel brand, we have a Marvel style, and all the movies are gonna follow this, and we're gonna be much stricter on the directors and just get like a bunch of yes men and everything. Now the people who made that decision 
have recently been fired. Thank God. They are, oh, not fired, but moved off of the movies and everything. And Kevin Feige, the guy who's in charge of like the Marvel movie division, he's like, okay, you're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna like let the directors take more like action, take more control. So I'm really hoping that the Phase Three movies, uh, Civil War, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Spider Man, all this stuff. I really well, hope they're going Civil War was still Phase 2, wasn't No, it? it's Phase 3. Phase it? 2 ended with Ant-Man. Okay. Oh. So, and I'm just really hoping that so they're going to be Deadpool? much more... Deadpool's Phase 3? No, Deadpool, 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 Deadpool's in the Avengers? Confirmed? No, no. 2018? Deadpool, I really Deadpool's, don't want Deadpool in the Avengers. I don't want them near each other. The De- Deadpool, Deadpool <laughs> was, um... Deadpool is owned by Fox, so it's not in Marvel at all. Oh, yeah. 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 So I'm really hoping that Phase 3 is going to be a lot more distinctive from each movie, a lot more creative mm-hmm. and everything, because I feel like Kevin Feige is a smart guy and he's going to give him more creative control. Like, I've been following James Gunn, the good director of Guardians of the Galaxy. And yeah, he's been ta- I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. They've started filming Guardians Volume 2, and he was like, yeah, we're going to be taking bigger risks oh, and everything with it. Oh, that would be great. It's just a black screen for five minutes. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, the, oh. it's the Bradley movie. Cooper jerking off. It's the movie Blue, but with, uh, like, a 70s soundtrack <laughs> instead of talking about AIDS. <laughs> What? You get that joke. Get that joke. <laughs> is the movie blue just a blue screen that yes, talks it is. about AIDS? Yeah. yeah. It's wow. actually it's actually pretty alright, you know, for what it is. I haven't like seen the whole podcast. thing. Like, oh, my only, I think yeah. It sounds like it's a podcast that just paid, you know, ten ten, twenty dollars <laughs> for to see <laughs> in the theaters. Also, um Yeah, yeah, that's basically my hope for Marvel movies. Uh, sorry, just a thought I remembered. How long do you think the longest movie ever made is? Or, it's still technically being made, but how long do you, uh, It's going to be made in 2020. I think I know what you're talking about. 2020 is when it's going to be released. Is it, uh... uh I have no idea what you're talking uh, about. Is it that movie with Robert De Niro, the, uh, American, uh, uh, American story? What the fuck is it about? It's a mafia movie, and it's like seven... Uh, it was originally going to be longer. We've talked about it before. Oh, Once Upon a Time Once in upon America. Once Upon a Time in America. No, is that? that's, um... That's, like, only, like, four hours or so. I mean, like, even, like, Heaven's Gate, like we mentioned, was, like, originally, like, five hours with the director's cut, which I really want to see. I haven't seen Heaven's Gate. I have not seen Heaven's Gate. I really want to see the five-hour director's cut. Uh, well, no, the longest movie is apparently one called, uh, it's either Ambience or Ambiance. Mm -hmm. Uh, A-M-B-I-A-N-C-E with a little slashy thing over it. So, Ambiance. Okay. Uh, it is, uh, let me just read what IMDb has about it. Space and time is intertwined into a surreal dream- I already love it. Dreamlike journey beyond mm-hmm. places, and it's an abstract linear narrative Ooh. along the of the artist Andrew Weisberg's time Ruby. spent with moving image. Uh, you guys want to take a guess on how long the movie is? How Seven hours. Is uh, you want to place a guess yourself. I remember reading on Wikipedia- like looking at the light, like the longest movies ever, and I think there was at least one that was like twenty four hours, Jesus. and I'm like, so I'm going over like like a day, like at least a, more than a day long. Okay, okay, and uh, you said seven hours. I said seven. You, you want to change it? Um, you just change it. Is it in the double digits? Uh, triple digits. Are you fucking kidding? Seven hundred and twenty hours or what? thirty days. All right, all right, all right. Is it is it is it all just one t- like one film or is it split up? One film is Are what you it says. fucking kidding me? Uh, there is an hour thirty minute long teaser trailer of it. So wait, wait, is this like a big budgeted thing or is this just like a small independent? Thing? I have no idea if it's a. Uh, uh, it's it's still being made and in twenty twenty it's coming out. I have no idea. Like uh, I'm looking stuff up it now. I mean, I could look more into it later. But uh, it's, it's a movie that will run a total of seven hundred and twenty hours upon its completion by Swedish artist. Uh, while that running time may seem daunting and insane, he releases the full film in the year twenty twenty on all continents simultaneously. Mm-hmm. After which it will be destroyed. It will be his last film, and when it is released, it will be the longest film ever made. All right, that's a little garbage. Um, yeah. Destroying it, if it's going to be released everywhere, there's already going to be torrents of it. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be torrents. So that's a little you're irrelevant. Not gonna, you're it, not going to destroy it. It'll be 2020, so it'll be easier to download Yeah, it. if anything. <laughs> but, um, at this moment, 280 hours is finished of the full 720 hours. Holy shit. And there's a oh. teaser trailer that's an hour? Yeah, that's what it says. Oh, shit. God. I... I mean, I. I mean, I'd at least. I'd, I'd at least check it out. Yeah, you know? is it? I'd at least check, check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or is there Even like? Even though he's Swedish. No, yeah. <laughs> is, God damn it! Is 
Like, is there anybody big on it? Like, who, like, is it just I, independent? I, I'm looking, okay, longestfilm.com. Let's see if that. I feel like I feel like it's just gonna be like footage of the woods. Yeah, with like some sort of narration on it. Yeah. For seven. I mean, I love artsy shit, man. But like, let me just shit. For the seven hundred hours. Seven hundred and twenty. That is a full month. A full month. That a solid thirty days sitting. Watching. Oh my god. For 30 days. I just can't wrap my mind around that. The website's not loading, so we might as well move on to something yeah. else. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah. I could never imagine doing something like that. If you if you watched it an hour a day, you a year and a half, two years around that, you yeah. know, to take. Yeah. I have any mean. Jesus Christ. I, that would be so difficult. It would be so I mean, look. I love art and, you know, art for art's sake. But, like, if you're going to do that, there has to be a reason in the story yeah. or whatever for it to be necessary to be 720 hours. Yeah. Like, you that's... can't sell me garbage for 700, 720 what hours. What narrative could you put in something that lasts 30 days? I mean, time travel? Slow, slow time yeah, travel? Slow Literally traveling through time? Time travel. Uh, We're slowly traveling to the future one second at a time. It's, it's just like, have you seen with Bob and Bob and Dave on uh, Netflix? Not yet, no. It's kind of like, all right, they try to make it not to be, but it kind of is. The sole successor of Mr. Show with David Cross and Bob Odenkirk. And, like, so, <laughs> it's really funny. This isn't spoiling anything. It's just, it's literally the first joke. Uh, they appear on stage with a bunch of people in the audience uh, as old guys as themselves and they're like wow this real time machine actually worked and they're like like um, who, uh, other comedians come out I forget their names uh, Tom Paul, Paul Tom pa, ca, the, the dog from Bojack Horseman Paul Tompkins oh comedian. yeah Paul he's Tompkins. like the fuck you guys you guys have just been waiting here for 30 years like it, he's like but that scientists said it was a real time machine so they go back into the time machine wait even longer and tom kenny is the scientist and he's like no 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 no! you guys misunderstood you travel through time but the setting says real time machine <laughs> you're traveling through real time here let me switch it so he, like he turns his thing and there's like a comment says real time machine <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is with your laugh I love I it. He's my, that's, that's, my baby boy. That's my extreme my laugh. Oh, you're touching boy. me. You're touching yeah, me all over. Yeah, touch him all over. I'm ah. paying good money. Oh, also, yeah. we just said we were going to do like a quick rundown of whether you should see Deadpool or not before oh, we yes. get into spoilers. And we just went on a whole tangent. No, yeah, absolutely. You should so, go see it. Yeah, okay, so now we can talk about spoilers as much as we want. Oh, yeah. Explain to me and Zach, I sort of get it. Like I think I I think I get your reasoning. Zach does not explain why you hate Stanley cameos. <sighs> okay. <laughs> explain for the it listeners. It really isn't as difficult. We it's just about this on no yeah. Day. It's just all right. At this point, it was cutesy, funny, like nice when we saw it for the first time. And what was it? Fantastic. Uh, Four? I think it was like yeah. the first Spider-Man. You just yeah, seen for, for like a brief. Yeah, second. it's great. It's like oh hey look Stanley, remember Stanley? Now every single fucking time, it's like. When's the Stanley cameo gonna come up to fucking t completely take me out of the movie? It's just, it's such a gimmick and cliche at this point. It's annoying every time I see him, and it and it sucks too. Like for Guardians of the Galaxy and Deadpool movies, I enjoyed Marvel movies, which I often don't enjoy. I was enjoying. I was like, wow, I'm really getting this, and then he fucking comes up into it, and I'm like, God, fucking damn it! It's like, it's like, if if you watch. Uh, uh, Watchmen. Like, say there was a bunch of Watchmen movies, and they put Alan Moore in it. It'd be like, hey, remember? Remember this guy who did it? Remember? You... Yeah, does that hurt that I'm slapping you? Yeah. Hey, remember Ow. Stan Lee? You he did. did all this cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. You remember? Okay. Here he is. Here he is. Okay. Remember Spider-Man? We right. do. <laughs> there he is. You, all right, back to the movie. You, you, you did... <laughs> You did that thing yeah. that you do all the time when you joke hurt us, but I was, then actually hurt I, us. I was the kid who played a little too rough. <laughs> yeah, you are. Um, uh, but my, no, my it's arm kind of hurts now I'm after sorry. that. But wow. that's how I feel when I see... Bitch. That's how I feel. Just hit him back. Yeah, it's, come on. Just hit him back. Come on. I, I love him too much. Hit him back. I mean, I'd hit look, you, but look, I wouldn't hit it's, Josh. It isn't, it isn't uh, that I hate Stanley's... Bird. I'm, I'm sure he's absolutely nice. I'm sure he's very kind. I'm sure he's a really cool guy. I love Spider-Man as a kid, and, and I think... I'm just now getting into Deadpool, and I think Deadpool's really cool. But it it's just not, like, it's just not funny or it's not cute to me anymore. Now, it, this is purely an opinion. So it's lost its charm It's lost its charm, and it just becomes such a joke of itself now. Like, I, I, I shit you not. 
uh, I would not be surprised at all that when he dies, that they will CG CGI him in. Do you? Or yeah, yeah, or just have a picture of him. Like, and do I just so you pre- you'd prefer it if they did it like they do in Daredevil, where he's just a picture on the wall. I prefer that's out it of focus. if he wasn't in it at all. Not even like an out of focus picture that I can't see. That like he wasn't acknowledged because it's so unnecessary. It's absolutely unnecessary to always be acknowledging that Stanley d- did all this because you already know that he did it going in as a Marvel well, fan. How do you feel about Tarantino movies when Tarantino's in it? I mean, it's kind of the same at this point now. Like, I think like, all right, uh, the whole reason, and even Scorsese will say to this, and he's been in his own films. Yeah, yeah, he's and good. like, it may be a little different where it's biasness for me because I'm really into movies and stuff. But like, even like in Django Unchained. Like, I'm like, all right, here's the Tarantino bit. Like, I, I'd say it's a bit of the same. But, like, w- with that said, there aren't as many as Tarantino films as there are Marvel films. Right. right. So. so, it's not really the cameo itself. It's about a running joke yeah, going on Yeah, it's just a running long. joke. Yeah, a running joke that takes you out of the experience. Yeah. I get that. So, yeah. Because, because like, b- before with, like, m- like all right, uh, say in the movie After Hours by Martin Scorsese, there's a scene where the main character is walking through a club. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie. It's a, it's a good movie. It's a funny... It's a, I've been co- meaning to watch it's it. A, the plot is a little fucked up of what happens, but it's a funny movie. That girl with the dragon tattoo No, up, but it's... No. Uh, not that fucked up, but... What if David Fincher made a cameo in all of his uh, movies? That'd be fucking weird. It'd be weird. That'd be really weird. But, but like, uh, it, and the Stan Lee ones, like in Daredevil, the... To awful Daredevil movie. Stanley's like there's just a scene where Daredevil is blind and he's walking through the street, and Stanley has his face of like, "What am I doing here?" And I think that's fine for that because I think you know it's just like, "Yeah, what are you doing here?" But with in After Hours, and again with the same how early the Stanley cameos were, there'd be just these quick glimpses, and then like, "All right, we're away from him." But now they've given him lines and full acknowledgement. So now it's just literally like, it's like someone burnt me with a cigarette and they're rubbing it in. Like, oh, remember when I burnt you with that cigarette? And it's just, so it you, hurts. So, so you'd it. also be annoyed, like, if you watched a bunch of Hitchcock movies and just see him show up at various No, I, I've seen a bunch of Hitchcock films. And yeah, it's like, it. it's when you see him for the first time, it's like a cool little thing. But when it becomes, it's so repetitive. It's like, mm-hmm. all right. What, but, so what's the cutoff point for you? If it was in five movies, then they'd be fine. I guess, but like, well, here's the thing. The whole reason on why doing it and why directors do it, and I guess why they did it for Stan Lee, is that like, to in American culture, at least in American culture, we don't really put faces and names to directors as like, I mean, for us we do, yeah. but for the regular general for most people, audience, the only thing that yeah. matters is the actors. Be, because it. like at this point, like, like yeah. <laughs> But, like, it's a thing. When, when the general audience thinks of, like, oh, a director, uh, Spielberg, that's a Spielberg, you know, that's the director everyone knows. That's, yeah, that's pretty much and, the only director that's universally known. And that's known. because, like, he's, like, I mean, I wouldn't say he's just done interviews, but that's because, like, you know, he's done these big budgeted films, and that's how we know him. But with other lesser known directors, how do people get known, or how they get known, is they'll insert themselves and be like, oh, yes, I'm here, so that when you see me in interviews, and this is this is what I look like. And I think even Hitchcock has said that's why he did Yeah, yeah. And, and same with Spielberg, or not Spielberg, same with Scorsese and Tarantino. So, like, I, I would say at this point, for even for directors I like, it's getting to be, like, too jokey for me. Yeah. But, like, again, like, this is all opinionated. And for if me, I was ever to direct a Marvel film, and they're like, all right, you have to have the Stanley cameo, I'd be like, all right, we'll film it. And then I'd sneak in in the offices and then put in my cut of the movie where I cut him out of it. And then for me, it out. seems like it started out as, like, a nice little nod, but now the, it seems like the only reason they do it is because yeah. all the other Marvel movies have done yeah. it. Yeah, I'm sorry if I ranted on that a bit. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's fine. I could hardly even tell. If and right. we did barely mention Deadpool at all in that. No, no, okay, all right, all right, let, let, let's start to do it. Deadpool, I thought it was very funny. I love Ryan Reynolds as uh, Deadpool. I think all, all the jokes are quick and witty and fun. And then there's another Snapchat that you're yeah, taking. Yeah, there is. I, God. Yeah. Hey, it's not Brooks this time. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, a bunch of 12-year-old boys. <laughs> but anyways. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but l- let me talk real quick about the things. I Like, it still felt a little formulaic of how Phase 2 Marvel films are. Yeah. Like, I, f- I don't care about his origin story. There really doesn't need to be a but love interest. I feel interest. like they, they did a smart thing by doing the intercutting between, like, yeah. they had pretty much, they had a, the action scene was pretty sparse because compared to other movies, this had a budget of about $58 million as opposed to like $100 million yeah. or $200 million. 
So they had a, only a certain number of action sequences. I think they did a smart thing by opening with the action and then intercutting the origin. Yeah. Because if they did that chronologically, it'd be a pretty like it'd be a pretty yeah. like heavy the, set movie like yeah. towards the yeah. end and everything. We'd be like all yeah. the interesting stuff for, happening. From most end. of the ones that I've seen, it did feel like it was trying to be different, and, and that's what I liked about yeah, it. Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like I can forgive that as kind of a simpler and more formulaic plot because it's like Deadpool. Outside of comic books and internet culture, no one really knows who Deadpool is. Yeah. So if you're going to have a movie that introduces, this is Deadpool, this is everything he's about, and everything, then you can't really go, like, all over the place with the thing. You need, like, a straightforward story in order to deliver the character and the performance, which I think they did really well, and probably the smartest decision that they did. The only thing I wish they kind of did more of in Deadpool is, you know, made him get hurt more. I guess because yeah, he got yeah when he when he gets like, like yeah <laughs> that was yeah that, that, that was, was great. Great. He had to get decapitated at one point so that yeah. the main bad guy would go huh, yeah now he's taken care of huh, huh, huh. and then Deadpool would go ah fuck yeah I was expecting I was at baby body dead yeah. I was kind of ex- I was kind he's of like expecting running down the street. This, like I have a he Deadpool just... holding his head and running around trying to fight I was sort of expecting that yeah and uh did I I think I might have mentioned it before that my yeah I already mentioned the boom mic thing I think. You didn't mention it on here, but you told oh, me about Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The one thing that was said, and I, like, I really latched onto this idea and really hoped that it would happen. It did not happen, but that's not the filmmaker's fault. Um, I wanted a scene where in the middle of an action scene, uh, Deadpool grabs a boom mic, re- like takes it out of the grip's hand, and beats someone to death with yeah. it. That's what I wanted to happen. They, they kind of did something like that when the, the gum is on the camera. Yeah, kinda and like he's just like, when he was about when he was about to get the, like, the guy who looks like a pedophile... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he is just like hey, you guys might want to look away. Yeah, from this. I was like, oh, there we go, Deadpool humor. And then yeah. Said, oh, yeah, the humor is very on point. But, and no, yeah. continue. Go I on. really like. I also thought a lot of the supporting characters were also really funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I, one comedian. I thought, yeah, T.J. Yeah. Miller. Yeah. T.J. He Miller is hilarious, great. and he was really great. Yeah. In that. The uh, one thing I know, and this isn't a problem. I told you about this. Uh, there were times where, and I think you really have to pay attention to this for you to notice, but there was, like, times where you could tell, like, there was, like, a dubbed line. But with that said, I want to know what the things were cut, in, like, in the DVD extras, because I'm sure, I'm sure there's hundreds and thousands of things that did not get put into this movie right. yeah. that are probably just too much for it <laughs> that I want to hear Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool say. Yeah. I, like, all the deleted shit, I think that'll be fucking It great. seems like there was a bit of improv yeah. going on. Oh, no, yeah, really, I'm sure. Yeah. Especially the TJ Miller. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's getting close to be the hour mark, though. I think we can go a bit more than an hour. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. your episodes should go an hour. It's like when it's like 30 minutes, I'm like, all right. Yeah. Because it's how, because when I'm at work now, I've, I've like, like, and I feel so shitty about this because the last time I was on the podcast, we were shooting promos for this, for the, your, for Brooks and Zach. They're still not done. Yeah. I wanted them to be done before here, but since then, uh, I've started going back to work. My iMac is slowly dying, so I have to go get that fixed. So everything is that I'm working on now is on my MacBook, and it's all very slow. So, uh, so what you're saying is we can't count on you to do anything. No. Oh, God. I'm trying to get my shit back together. Yeah. So, but, uh, no. So uh, I just feel shitty. But yeah, I think a character that was I wanted to see more of, I thought was kind of underutilized, was Al, the blind woman. Yes. Oh, who she, I think is Lahora. From, it, it looks like her. Is it? I don't want to be racist. This isn't. This is not a comment where people look like it because I'm they're racist. IMDb that from so. how the woman and I forget her name, but she's great. I'm. I love Star Trek. Uh, the woman who played as Lahora, uh, how she looks like now, looked a lot like her. But if it's not, I you know, it was still funny. I loved her character. I love that line. I miss cocaine. Yeah, I miss cocaine. God, I miss cocaine. Uh, I love the line. Look, I've buried a bunch of cocaine in this apartment along with the cure for blindness. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> And then TJ Moe's like, you want to get fucked, fucked up? up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. You want to get fucked another up? Thing, another thing I really liked and appreciated, part, part of me was like, thought they were going to go one way, and part of me knew they, they, they were going to go the way that they did and everything, but it was still funny when it happened, was when he like beat the villain Ajax, otherwise known as Francis, yes. and yeah. everything, and Colossus has that big speech yeah. about heroism. And then, like, and then yeah. Deadpool just shoots him in the face. And yeah. he's like, and Colossus just starts throwing him. <laughs> yeah. He throws up like, what, it's like liquid metal too. Yeah, and like, oh, that was great. Neat. Yeah, that was, that was funny. Um, I also, I, I liked the villain. I thought the villain was pretty great. Oh, 
Oh, S- <laughs> T-Rex is the most deadly. Yeah. Dinosaurs as his arms are broken. Speaking of which of Colossus, there's that really fu- And I don't know if this happened to you guys, but this is totally happened to me. Where, like, he's fighting... I, for, I don't know who he was fighting. That woman. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and her, her tit comes out. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh. He's like, oh, oh like, thank cover, you. So kind. his hands. Like, that, has like happen- thing, like. that has happened to me before at a state fair. Oh, really? Or, like, a, like a carnival where, like... You're fighting somebody. No, 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 no. no. You and- threw them into, a, like, a rusted car. Yeah, and- <laughs> and- I was in this thing with uh, my friend... Brianna or whatever and her I guess her older sister with us and it's like the, one of those rides where like it like it goes around but you're in a car and it like rotates up and down yeah. and it moves up if you know those yeah. she, she was in there and uh, she was wearing a loose shirt and it came out and I was like oh uh, uh, you, uh, you and like when he did that in the movie it's like oh that's a real thing that happens that's what I love they're they're making this more real oh yeah looking at the yeah I, uh, I like the but um going through the cast list sorry. I just remembered that <laughs> Uh, the taxi driver was one of my favorite characters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the, whole, the whole situation with him was just great. Yeah. And I like the callback to it. Oh, you, you, you actually kidnapped him? <laughs> How dare you? I'm so proud of you. Yeah, because yeah, he's like, like Deadpool gives him advice and everything. Yeah. And then, like, you are to release him and, they, you know, to give her back to the one you love. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. Kill yeah. him. And then use your boyish charm to yeah. her. kidnap her. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Josh. Uh, oh, sorry. This, I don't know how this makes you look, but she was not a It was on not Star a horror. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Is, uh, is Ahura still alive? Yeah, yeah she's still alive. She's still alive, right? Yeah, yeah. The only ones that are dead is the guy who played as Scotty, DeForest uh, Scotty, Kelly, Spock uh, now. Scotty, about, McCoy, and uh, Nimoy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I was extremely attracted to Negasonic Teenage Warhead. How old is she? Does it matter? I'm attracted. Yeah. Yes, it does matter. Yeah. Yes, it does yes, matter. It fucking a lot. does matter. Why does it matter? She looks old enough. That's good enough. No, right? no, Zach. We talked about this. What, what are we Zach, about? we've had these discussions. Look, if oh. she looks like a child, you're gonna then... be on a dateline later. No, if eventually. she looks like a child, then what are you I doing here? Anything. You want some cookies? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh fuck it. Does. I'd like to read what you sell online. Fuck, yeah, it's one of her first. Deadpool's one of her first movies, so the IMDb page doesn't say how old she is. So I gotta look this up on Google. Speaking of which, also, yes, it does matter what age. She is. Catch the Predator, ca- To Catch a Predator is back, so and it's called Hanson vs. Predator, by the way. It's, it's I haven't okay, seen no, it, but no, I've heard so, it's Zach's so, going to be on that in like yeah. 10 years. No, 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 answer me to this thing. If she is, uh, what's the age of consent right now? 16? In, in, in Crimeopolis, yeah, in, in it's, Crimeopolis 16. it's 16. Oh, God. But, uh, like, if they were 16, but they fucking looked 10, that would be messed up. But if it's if they look old enough, I think it's okay. What's I don't you know like? if you're fucking with me or like. Okay, so if it was what's the, the what's the was, point you're trying to make that? Is, is it, I, I'm gonna find this person I, attractive no matter what you say. What if? Uh, okay, fine. They're 15 or whatever. I, I'm still fucking. All right. What? They're attractive. That doesn't mean I'm gonna go out there and put my. I'm dick gonna in dial nine one on my phone <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just to be safe. Ticket, I'm just gonna find them attractive. Hang on. Like, Fuck you guys. Is that... You're the weird ones. I'm still gonna be turned off. Well, well. To be fair, Brooks wants to have sex with my cousin Brooks. No, I don't. <laughs> Brooke, Why Brooke, do you keep saying Brooke that? Thirteen you, years old. This is a. <coughs> Okay, because I... you called me and you're like, no. I am Brooks. I need to find a Brook to fuck. And I was like, well, no. I have a cousin. I and never you, said that. I get all these pictures. I'm concerned. Did you see his mangy ball sack? He sent me a snap. <laughs> all, I, all I have to do is cut this out later. Yeah, you do. Oh, dang it. Yeah, <laughs> I have I the power in this situation. I hope you won't because comedy trumps, right? Brooks? Nope. Brooks comedy comedy is Donald Trump. <laughs> what? No, what no. Is this? Because like I'm not I'm not gonna include that because for the last time I don't find that joke funny <laughs> and I hate that you keep bringing it up. Oh, I find it hilarious. You bring it, it up in public places. <laughs> <laughs> you, need to, you need to keep it in there. It's hilarious. Oh, uh, if if my co- if my cousin Brooke ever hears this, I'm sorry. No, no, you're here. not. You're not sorry. <laughs> If you sorry, you'd stop making that joke because oh, it makes me really uncomfortable. Because <laughs> like I don't, kn- I don't know You've this girl, and him. also she's like ten. Yeah. <laughs> Just like how you wanna fuck Brooks's dad. Well, 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 that is a different story. That I'm definitely cutting out because I know for a fact that de- my dad listens to this. Yeah, he does. Because he complained okay. about you farting in that. He, <laughs> he thought it was funny, but he also thought it was disgusting. Wait, what? Really? Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he listens. Yeah, he listens to it. Does. That's how he knows Frank Rosenberg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's that, an active listener. That reminds me. I meant to say this earlier, and if I've already said it, I feel retarded. Um, I'm known by many things. R- originally, Joshua Barry Askovich, uh, Frank Rosenberg. But if you know me as Goomba, I'm incredibly sorry. 
I'm really sorry, and let's just say when you met me, I was very tired. <laughs> so uh, let's just uh, say that. Also, we know you as Karen Calamari. Well, that that's I'm fine with Karen okay. Calamari. This doesn't mean you're all, so, okay. Such a funny character. Yeah, no one gets. This these doesn't references. mean you're gonna be always off the hook and everything, but we will give you this one. She's 19. Thank you. All right, that's Thank fine. You. She is about the same age but as we are. But what was that shit you were saying? Like, if what? she looks 10 and she's 16, that's fucked up. That is fucked up. No, it's not. Yeah, she's 16. But you're attracted to what. A young girl looks all like. right if you're talking to her and she's i like, don't know what this argument is anymore. Do I. I no, just, no, no, I no 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 all right if your thing is like i like girls who look younger and like you find a girl who looks older but is 15 and you still want to bang her that's fucked up if you find a girl who looks younger but is age of consent that's fine no i don't want to fuck them i'm just saying that they're really attractive I'm not gonna go put my dick in this actress. I don't know her. You well need enough. you need to watch. Uh... But if I, <laughs> I to, no no if this I got I... to know her well enough, and then I was like, oh hey, you want to put my warhead in I, your time bomb? I Me, wrote. I would come. I I wrote. <laughs> I wrote a script called "The Legality of Love" okay. for my friend Carmine, oh, and great. and we filmed um. it, and this is exactly how it goes. <laughs> I shit you not. There are some great lines what in it from my friend. Brian. Life imitates art. Yeah. Okay. Other aspects of Deadpool we really like. I thought... <laughs> oh, yeah, we're talking about yeah. Colossus. Was, I, I like yeah, I yeah. Colo was I thought they used the X-Men well. That need the they, yeah. they, they, they like made a they made a correct so They made a correct choice with the ch choice of X-Men. I would have liked to see Wolverine in there, yeah. but he'll be in the sequel, hopefully. I would have loved to see Deadpool blowing Wolverine. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> he makes a reference to it in the with opening. With the mask on and everything. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's just like... Get, like, you're wondering how I got my own movie. Well, I had to fondle somebody's balls. And I won't say who, but it rhymes with pulverine. Because yeah. <laughs> he pulled his Oh, bleeding. God. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. No, Deadpool's very funny. It's yeah, funny it's movie. a funny, it's a real funny movie. Oh, and everything. Um, well, very violent. Yeah. Too. Very, oh, yeah, I was I'm so, so happy. Yeah, I'm so glad they made it rated R. I'm, I'm like, I honestly was like, this should be X. Like, I like... Jesus. We mentioned it before, but the part when he cuts off his hand. Yeah. And Did like. You ever see 128 hours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. This is how it ends. Yeah. <laughs> and then he. <laughs> then later he just has a weird baby hand because yeah. it's growing back. He's just like, I just gotta wait for this thing to go uh, through puberty. And then he's and like, fine. he's like, oh, now if you excuse me, I bet this thing feel makes my dick feel big. Or what the fuck is, is the it, line? Yeah, he's like, I bet it feels huge. Yeah, in I bet this. it feels huge in this. Oh shit. Yeah. Good movie. Good uh, shit. Uh, I've also loved how they were like the perfect couple or whatever. Uh, oh yeah! Happy Thanksgiving, and then they force yeah. feed each other. <laughs> it's like Happy Lent, yeah. and they're just like sitting there yeah. reading. Happy National Women's Day. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, no. oh boy. No. Yeah. I'm like, oh no. Oh, oh god. Uh, to I reference that for my wife. To reference uh, Frank Rosenberg, I'll tell you what a priest told me once: strap on. <laughs> Situationally, that was the funniest thing i have heard all year yeah. like in that moment like because everybody was in this just the way state. you said it oh i'm sorry talking about deadpool oh thank no, no, no no you no, oh, i'm said, sorry like the strap on thing like the the in the moment like everybody's like you're ready for the space battle or wherever the fuck we were yeah, oh, yeah the ship were exploding yeah and then we're, i was like all right gotta roll you're like hold on, hold on before you roll as a catholic priest let's yeah. go you know, it, i, I remember it was the zombie thing um We'll get to... I think we haven't done it yet. We'll eventually get to a, a part two for the made game. Because we talked oh, yeah, about part yeah. one in a, in a previous episode. And we haven't gone back to it in a while. Right. So we, don't worry, listeners. We will get should back I to the made game. Should I be there for it? I think, yeah. I think you should be there for it. Can I, you remember it? Oh, I guess. <laughs> sure, why, why the fuck not? You asked me and, and I was like, yeah, I remember it. Wait, do I remember it? <laughs> so what were we talking about? Deadpool? Deadpool? Deadpool, yeah. Why not? Yeah, we're still talking about Deadpool. It's a good movie. Go see it. Yeah. yeah. We... From someone who really dislikes Marvel movies, it's a good Marvel movie. Yeah, because it's not made by Marvel Studios. <laughs> yeah. Which is weird, because all uh, the Fantastic Four has been awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all been awful. It's weird how there's never been a Fantastic Four movie that's good that's not The Incredibles. Yeah, exactly. Incredibles exactly. 2's coming out. That's oh, I'm so excited I for it. I don't care at all. Really? Yeah. I... Like, he has this thing where he hates Disney right. movies and all I don't, good things from childhood. I don't... All right. I don't hate them. I, I've i seen a lot of them, and I'm like, all right, I see why these are appealing. They're not, they're not functionally awful or poorly made, I think, for who they're selling to. For me, the selling point to all of them is the nostalgia that people receive. I Those movies were not my childhood movies. My childhood movies were Alien, Jurassic Park, 
any Godzilla movie. The Godfather, Goodfellas, um, what other... What you're saying is you are a piece of shit. No, I just didn't watch childish things as a kid. Yeah, Not yeah, to, like, make like myself like, oh, I was so better. I, like... You were a smart kid, is what you're saying? No, okay, I can, no, I hate that. I can... I, no, I, I just, they, they're just not my childhood. Look, I, I get what you're saying, like, I can, like, I get, I understand it. And there's nothing wrong with having, like, a different taste, yeah. like, from, like, what you've grown up with and everything. I'm just, like, I'm just saying, just sometimes you seem to, like, rag on them a bit. I'm like, I feel like, nostalgia aside, I feel like at least a few of them, some of them, like, are, have a lot of merit to them as well. I don't, I don't... Like, some of them are genuinely I, great I don't movies, doubt I'd that, say. but, like, I know, I always know what it's, it's I'm gonna get into. It's gonna be like, alright, well animated, gonna have some sort of slightly realistic thing to make me feel sad and here's the jokey character and what i do like and i haven't well, the seen the formula that works for kids so and again like like i said for kids yeah. the formulas that i saw were not kid movies now to be fair there's a time in That's for pretty eccentric so <laughs> For, for anyone who's a Godzilla fan, there yeah. is definitely a time where the Godzilla films are kid-like, but more like <laughs> kid-like on acid. Uh, uh, J- Jaguar, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, or uh, the Megalon movie, just in general. Or no, not Megalon, uh, Hedorah. The Smog too. Monster. One of these days you should force us to watch all the terrible well, that, that, Godzilla that's movies. That's what I want to do. Like, and we'll I, do an episode on it. I, since I know what I'm going to get in with any Disney or Pixar movie, I will not go out of my way to go watch them. But if we watched them together, much there, like any of the Marvel movies, I would love to do there that. Was, there, were, there were some Disney movies that we were going to have a day where we would just watch them. Yeah. Um, and that was... um. I know one of them was Wreck It Ralph yeah. because you I have not seen the it. Wreck It Ralph. I thought was interesting because like I like. Yeah. Like, what, what I thought was cool was like holy shit they got licensing to yeah. Nintendo yeah. characters. What the fuck? Yeah, but you haven't seen the movie. Yet. No. Um, and uh, John C. Riley's in it. And then you like I can't remember the other Disney movies, but I'm, in terms of anime movies, I know you also want to see Princess Mononoke. Yeah. And we have a lot of time between what we're doing tonight and yeah. when we're gonna be done. This. Do you guys want to watch those movies uh, afterwards? Yeah. Can I say after this we watch the Blues Brothers? Can we get food? Because I have not eaten. Uh, we can get food. Come back here and then watch all those movies. That would be great. And then while we're out, we can uh, deposit stuff in the bank for me. Yes. Too. Uh, ju- just to just to clarify, like, I, it it's not like there isn't Disney movies that I've seen that I enjoyed. Like, the ones that I've seen that I enjoyed when I saw as a kid, was and they because I still kind of had something underlying or something underneath it that was fucked up. Like like the Pinocchio movie right. where like the kids just smoking cigar and drinking and he turns into a donkey. Right, That's yeah. horrifying. And as a kid who was watching horrifying crazy. things, I was like, yeah, but. Uh, but like, and also like, I I liked Fantasia, like the that Fantasia's great. But and, and but like, I when I think about, it, I'm like, did I really like that because of the dinosaur scene in it? But like, I don't know. I think I think a lot of the stuff from the 30s, I think, is really well I animated. Think, I think the original fan, but like the 3D like, Pixar I, I, stuff, I don't really. I care genuinely about. think, uh, the Fantasia movie from like the 30s and 40s is one of the best animated yeah. movies ever made. Because like I. And, and like, I mean, all right, I don't want to compare myself because I absolutely have no right to do that. But I like films and things when like th- what's going on in the scene is edited to music. Like the beats are there in the song, and the beats are there in the and movie. And that's that's and all it, of Fantasia. That's all of Fantasia. Yeah. And like and like it makes me sad because we when we saw The Martian, uh, you know, hashtag David Bowie never forget. They had Starman in there, and I love that song, and I love David Bowie, but it's so lazily used in that like in that montage would you have preferred they used uh, Life on Mars question mark no I don't care what David Bowie song they would have used I don't know used. how to critique stuff I'm just like oh hey I like this why do you like it all right. I don't know D- critique is the wrong word it, this is all opinion because yeah, it's art it's sharing it's, opinions it's, because yeah. no, what I say is not like who the, the fuck the, are we yeah, <laughs> yeah we're just some assholes in a crummy apartment yeah. as I look around but like it, I it, have tried very nicely to spruce this place up like, it, well, he uh, did add a painting this is all Ikea right I there it is I thought that was blood it. Where'd the painting go? Is that there's a, a blood. There's a blood stain where the painting is that a used rat? to be. Uh, is that a dead rat? Hang on. Okay. Uh, please continue on your. Disney but um, thing. no, it's just, I I like things that are edited to the beats and stuff. That's. No, I, ignore it. He like. Um. Just... But no, yeah, in The Martian, it just feels like. Oh no. It it looks like it wasn't edited to the song. And just, like, there may have been another song that was placed in there, but they didn't get the rights to. So they just kind of, you know, 
dropped it in there. Just dragged oh, and dropped. Yeah. You okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. We don't have a painting anymore, but, uh, I mean, we got a cool new mural. Oh. Nice. Of rat blood. Oh. Uh, we'll, we'll do with it later. It brings we'll the, it really ties the room together. Yeah, yeah. it makes it look redder. I have seen Big Lebowski in, like, forever. Oh, I've like never seen Big Lebowski. Oh, speaking of Coen Brothers films, we saw Hail Caesar. Oh, we did see Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar. Oh, I didn't see Hail Caesar. Fuck you. You were guys. invited. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, do you want to just, like... Uh, oh, real quick, want... Oscar Isaac was in it. I refuse to believe he okay, wasn't. Okay, okay, uh, like Isaac Gate, hashtag <laughs> Isaac Gate, <laughs> Fat Isaac Gate. It's um hashtag. Uh, we saw him in. Okay, uh, uh, spoilers in the scene with all the communist yeah, writers right, and everything. All right, all right, real quick, before we spoil anything, Hell Caesar. Uh, real quick, good Coen Brothers film, not my favorite, but still very funny. Go yeah, see it, so, Josh Brolin. So, still really good, yeah. Yeah, but all right, Oscar Isaac is in that movie. He's in it. We know for a fact that he is. Yeah. Look, we saw it. We saw the scene, and he's like off in the distance. Yeah. And like he has a few lines, and yeah. we're just like, "Is that Oscar Isaac? He looks kind of yeah. fat to be Oscar Isaac." And he's and a little they, out of focus. And then they fucking later in the next scene, they fucking show him like full like medium yeah. shot. We, we know it's Oscar Isaac. It just Isaac. looks like a fat Oscar Isaac. The IMDb, the Wikipedia page, every resource on the internet shows no evidence of it being Oscar Isaac, but we fucking know yeah. there's a conspiracy. It has to be. I have no idea. Because, and I'll tell you why. Because did we find out that the movie was being filmed at the same time as Star Wars? It was like it like when Star Wars Star wrapped, Wars I think it started. Movies. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So while Star Wars was wrapping, Coen Brothers was filming this movie. Zach, shut up! They were filming this movie, and they were like, "Oh, Oscar Isaac, what are you busy? Come on, come on, come on our set real quick, real quick. We'll put you in a fat suit. Disney will not even know. But I know it looks like him. We know, we know. And, and even in the call movie, Disney, call Oscar Isaac. We tried. You didn't yeah. pick up. Yeah, we lo- we looked we looked a lot. <laughs> we he. They even tell him in the movie uh, that... Poe Dameron in uh, the new Star Wars. Yeah, and he's in... Uh, in we should watch Inside Louis Davis. The X-Wing pilot, that oh, famous yeah, French yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But, like, even in the movie, they tell him, shut up, every time. And I'm like, that's because we don't... They want us... They don't want us to know. But it's him. It's Oscar Isaac. We know it's him. And Most yeah. Violent Year is also a very good movie. Yeah. So, Inside Louis Davis. That. It's is, good. Is that the end of this episode? Is it? I I, I'd say... I'd say so. Final thoughts, like, wrapping up on Deadpool... I, I guess I'll start. I thought it was just, like, a really great movie. Uh, didn't love it, but I feel like the they have a real good yeah. chance to improve it with the sequel, which has already been greenlit. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, yeah, great comedy, uh, really good action and everything, so I'd say go see it. If you're a fan of superhero movies or just comedies in general, I think you'll have a good time. Yeah, uh, got pretty much the same. I'm not a big fan of Marvel movies, but uh, really liked it, didn't. I absolutely love it as I did Guardians of the Galaxy, but uh, so far Deadpool is my most favorite Marvel character. Beats Spider Man. It's yeah. uh, it's a better love story than Twilight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Although it the love story is, yeah. is absolutely pointless, but still a better love story it's, it's, than Twilight. Yeah, it's still a better love story than Twilight. I liked how they had sex a lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love tits right. and violence. That's just how movies there are made. You go. All right, All right. so, so the, Josh Yaskovich, 2016. It's I love time, tits and okay. violence. <laughs> Calm down, Josh. It's time for Zach to. Oh, first we plug all our stuff. Oh shit, that's we right. We can you can follow us on Twitter at Hundred Years Pod, and the individual Twitters are. At Squeezy McCheesy for me. Uh, for Zach, it's at Brave Snuggles. And for Josh, it's at Barrett Films. At Barrett Films, but here's the thing about my Twitter. Yeah. Uh, I can't log into it. I, I Every time I try to do the remember password thing, it fucks up. So I just need a day where I just sit down and redo everything. Um, but where you can else find me? Uh, find me on YouTube as just Josh Yaskovich. But my thing is JB Yaskovich. Uh, Dispel Yaskovich, if you can't see it in the description, uh, it's... He's not going to put it in the description. Yeah, no, no I'm, I'm not. not. I'm really not. Why... There's nothing in the description. Y-A-S-K-O-V-I... Don't put a T. <laughs> K-O-V-I-C-H. Yaskovich. Every time a person puts in a T in it, an angel dies. <laughs> um, no, yeah, so... And I, um, and I make short films when every once in a while. And this guy is in my next one, Zach, over here, who's a good actor... <laughs> Ooh, we need to finish that movie. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. And uh, me, me and Brooks, we work on a lot of stuff. Right. Yeah, we work uh, on stuff together. We got uh, producing to do. We got your thing that we are absolutely filming. Yes. I will rehearse my lines a bit more for that. Yes. Now, when the weather is going to be starting to get yeah. warmer. And real soon. hopefully, I will give you those promos so we can use hopefully. them for your show. And we can put those on our YouTube channel, which you can find, which is just 100 yeah. years on YouTube. 
Uh, it's a little hard to find, so just search Brooks and Zach 100 Years, and you'll be able to find yeah, it. there you go. Okay. And, uh... Oh, and... I'm Dr. Goomba on Instagram and Snapchat. Okay, and, Spelled uh, out Dr. G-O-O-M-B-A. And, uh, All if you're listening on SoundCloud, which is our main area, you can also find us on iTunes, give us a review, you know, yeah, like, give us... Yeah. yeah. Find us on iTunes, sound iTunes. I if think you that don't covers, want me back, I'll never show up. That pretty much covers all the bases, so I think you can just do your sign-off. All right, the same sign-off. Oh, I, I love this. Every single time. Uh, same okay. one. So, is, this, is this part of it? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta stretch. You gotta put your arms back. Just slender. Neck, neck back, mm-hmm. elongated as mm-hmm. you walk down the sidewalk, mm-hmm. taking in all the surroundings, all the surrounding buildings. Your knee bumps into the P.O. box, uh-huh. and you go, oh, dang it. But as you keep walking, somebody bumps into you. You look at them, and it's Stan Lee, and he looks at you and says... <laughs> Brooks and Zach, hundred years. Uh-huh. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's that's what happens. It's a lot of clapping. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I'm clapping. See ya. Blue.